Hi, first grade friends. This is Mrs. Williams. I'm here to help you with week five, day three of your fluency practice found in your DCPS learning work packet. Today, we will practice reading and writing words with long vowel spelled vowel consonant E. Let's get started. Let's warm up with our vowel sounds. Remember, vowels have a short sound and a long sound. I will say the letter, keyword, and sound, and you repeat after me at home. Ready? A, apple, a. A, safe, a. E, ed, e. E, Pete, e. I, itch, e. I, pine, I. O, octopus, ah. O, home, o. U, up, a. Uh. U, mule, you. U, rule, oo. Great job. Whenever there is a vowel, then a consonant, then an E at the end of the syllable, the E is silent and the vowel says its name or the long sound. We just practice saying the long sounds of vowels. They're here. A, E, I, O, U. It's easy to remember because the vowel is saying its name. The letters A consonant E can stand for the long A sound, A. The letters I consonant E can stand for the long I sound, I. The letters O consonant E can stand for the long O sound, O. The letters U consonant E can stand for the long U sound, U. Let's practice reading our words. Say the word with me. Cake, kite, rope, mule. All of these words have a vowel consonant E pattern. The E is making their vowel say their name. Let's take a look at our activity for today. Read the story and circle the long A, I, O, or U words. Then write the long A, I, O, or U word that completes each sentence. Okay, I'm going to read this aloud for you and I want you to follow along. Then we'll go back to find our long vowel words with the C, B, C, E pattern. The hike. Mike, Kate, and mom sometimes go for a hike in the woods. They love to see the roses that are there. One time, they saw a huge snake. It was not cute. Sometimes, Mike and Kate play a game and try to name all the stones they see. They make up funny names. When they get home, everyone is tired. All right. I'm going to go back to the first sentence and do the first sentence with you. Mike, Kate, and mom sometimes go for a hike in the woods. The first word I see has a vowel consonant E pattern, Mike. The E is making the I say its name. I'm gonna circle Mike. Let's look at the next word. I see the same pattern. Kate, there is a vowel consonant E. The E makes the A say its name. I'm going to circle Kate. And does that have a vowel consonant E pattern? No, as a short vowel sound. Hmm. Let's go to the next word, mom. Well, I know that doesn't fit the pattern because it has an ah, and ah is a sound for a short O. Sometimes, nope, that doesn't fit the pattern. Go, 
Mm, go has a long O sound, but it doesn't have a consonant and an E after its vowel, so that doesn't fit. Four, mm, nope. A, nope. Hike, hmm. I see a vowel consonant E. The E is silent and it's making the I say its name. I'm going to circle hike. In, nah. The, oh no, the is a trick word. Woods, nope, there's no E. All right, I found all the vowel consonant E words in my first sentence. Now it's your turn. Press pause. Open your packet and circle the words from the story with long vowel sounds. When we come back, we'll go over your answers. Welcome back, first graders. I hope you did your best. Take some time now to compare your work with mine. Did you miss any? Awesome job. Let's keep moving. Now we have our sentences. Our job is to fill in the blanks of these sentences with a vowel consonant E word. I will do the first one with you. You'll do the rest on your own and then be able to come back and check your work. Number one, Mike, Kate, and mom walk a long way on their, hmm. What were they walking on? Walking on their, oh, I know. They were on a hike. Let's try hike. Let's see, does it have the vowel consonant E pattern? I see a vowel, K is a consonant, and an E. E is silent and it's making the I say its name. Mike, Kate, and mom walk a long way on their hike. Perfect. Now it's your turn. Press pause. Open your packet and write the long vowel words to complete the sentences. When we come back, you can go over your work. Awesome, let's review our work. We already did number one. Let's look at number two. They like to see the pretty roses. Did you write roses? Roses has a suffix S, just like we learned about in the last weeks, but the base word has a vowel, consonant, and E. The E is making the O say its name. Number three, they don't think that the snake is Cute. Cute has a U, which is a vowel, a consonant T, and a silent E. The E makes a U say its name. They don't think that the snake is cute. Number four, Mike and Kate sometimes play a game. Let's see, does this fit our rule? I see a vowel, M is a consonant, and an E. The silent E makes the A say its name. Game. Mike and Kate sometimes play a game. That makes sense. Number five, last one. They make up funny names for stones. It sounds right, but let's see if it fits our pattern. This word also has a suffix S, just like we learned about in the other weeks. Our base word though has a vowel, a consonant M and a silent E. This E is making the A say its name. They make up funny names for stones. 
awesome job. Thank you for staying with me. You guys worked very hard today. I look forward to our next lessons. Have a great day. Bye.